Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. Hit the thumbs down if you don't. Also, if you enjoyed the contents of this channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already. So for today, we'll be taking a look at Tapu Bulu from Battle Styles. Tapu Bulu is a basic Pokemon with 130 HP. It has two attacks. The first one is Pushdown. For one Grass Energy, it will do 20 damage and your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their benched Pokemon. Its second attack, however, will be our main focus, Nature's Judgment. For two Grass and one Colorless, it will do 80 base damage. But you can choose to discard all energy from this Pokemon and if you do, you'll deal 160 damage instead. Our main source of Grass Energy Engine will be Cherim. It is a Stage 1 Pokemon with the ability Spring Bloom. You can attach as much grass energy as you want from your hand to any of your Pokemon as long as they don't have a rule box on them. So with Cherim, we can quickly energize our Pokemon as long as we have energy on our hand. But since Tapu Bulu discards energy to get that 160 damage, we'll need a way to recover the energies from the discard pile. Which is why I've included copies of Energy Retrieval which allows you to get 2 basic energy from the discard pile to your hand. And I also have a copy of Ordinary Rod. And to get energy from the deck, I've included a copy of Viridian Forest Stadium and a copy of Sonya which can get us two energies or two basic Pokemon when we need them. But sometimes Tapu Bulu's Nature Judgment attack can be short of damage, so I've found it useful to include Vitality Band to slightly increase its attack by 10. But Tapu Bulu will not be alone because 160 damage is not going to be enough to deal key knockouts to VMAXs or GX Pokemon. For this reason, I've included two lines of Golisopod. With the attack Hard Time Slash, for just 2 colorless energy, it will deal 30 damage, plus 50 more damage for each Pokemon V or GX Pokemon your opponent has in play. So this attack adds up fairly quickly and can almost one hit KO any Pokemon in the game given the right situation. For consistency, I'm using Snorlax with the Gourmandize ability, which lets you draw cards until you have 7 cards in your hand, then your turn ends. But you can actually use Snorlax as an attacker as well since Cherim can easily attach energy onto it. For 4 colorless energy, Body Slam will deal 100 damage and you flip a coin. If it's heads, your opponent's active is now paralyzed. This is actually great for chip damage and for stalling if you get heads on your coin flips. And I also have a copy of Cricket Tune V with the ability Exciting Stage. Once per turn, you can draw cards until you have 3 in your hand, but if this is in the active, when you use its ability, you can draw up to 4 cards instead. You can also attack with this since we are using Grass Energies, but you will not be able to use Cherim to energize Cricketune because it has a rule box. For 1 Grass and 2 Colorless, X Scissor will deal 80 damage, and you flip a coin if it's heads, you deal 160 damage instead. And I also have Mew for its Bench Barrier ability to protect our Cherim from bench damage. As for the rest of the deck, I have Evolution Incense, Level Ball which can also get us Cherim since it only has 80 HP. Next is Ordinary Rod, Pokemon Communication, Quick Ball, Switch, Boss's Orders, and Bruno. This supporter is really good late game since Tapu Bulu or Golisopod has really low HP. They're prone to getting KO'd a lot, so Bruno allows you to shuffle your hand back to your deck and you draw 4 cards, but if one of your Pokemon was knocked out on your opponent's last turn, you draw 7 cards instead. Next is Marnie, Professor's Research, Air Balloon, and lots of Grass Energies. And that's pretty much it, the decklist will be in the description below, but enough talk, let's see some gameplay. Alright, we win the coin flip, we're gonna go first. And we got a true B to go into the active. So uh, one of the reasons why I have uh, Quick Ball is actually because um, we have a few Pokemon that doesn't have less than 90. So Level Ball is good for the Cherim line but not for the other Pokemon. So I'm going to use Quick Ball, get ourselves a Snorlax because we can start using its Gorman Dice early. And with the Air Balloon we can just retreat Cherubi. And I can put an energy on Snorlax. We can attack with it actually. Uh, let me just use this uh, stadium. Uh, get another, get a uh, used level ball to get a Cherim. And I'm just gonna Gorman Dice. And we get a Cricketune V, which is good. So we always have a guarantee of three, at least three cards in our hand at all times. Especially when we start. Um, Putting all those energies onto our Pokemon, 
our hand will get thinned out pretty quickly. So it's good to have Cricket Tune. Cricket Tune V, I think it's really good. And it's that constant uh, drawing ability. So let's evolve into Cherum and put the air balloon on Krikatoon V. Spring Bloom. We have enough energy to energize Snorlax. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use Boss's order and get that Paragon into the active to knock it out. But first let's exciting stage ability here to get three uh two cards. And I can should I I'll, I think I'm just gonna attack disrupting their um, their main energizer could be a big difference so I think uh, knocking out that Porygon is very important okay so their Cramorant V wasn't just for its B catch they're actually using it f as the main attacker of this deck I I suppose so Cramorant V Max. Unfortunately, we're still using um, Glimwood uh, Glimwood Tangle Stadium, which is <laughs> which is actually in favor of our opponent. Oh, and they get two. Um, okay, and it's enough to knock out um, Snorlax. All right, that's that's not good. Uh, let's just put Cricket Tune in the active. We can draw four cards once we thin out our hand. Let's get rid of that and then I think we can get our main attacker here. Um, Tapu Bulu. And put Vitality Band on it. And I'm just going to use Exciting Stage because we can draw up to four when it's in the active. And we got uh, the Golisopod line, which is really good too. Uh, let's put the Vitality Band on this one. And unfortunately, we only have two energies on our hand. Not enough to hit for 160. So I think what I'm going to do here is just attach an energy in the active. And one, one on uh, Golisopod line. And I'm going to attack with pushdown. It's not much, but at least it's going to get rid of this main attacker out of the active. And if they don't have a switch, they're going to have to expend an energy to get the one in the active so that it can retreat but they have a professor's research which is uh <laughs> they had two professors research unbelievable so uh with paragon z though with a lot of energies it's not going to be a problem you can just keep attaching these special energies so they can retreat with cramorant v and uh, start attacking with cramorant v max but they're just going to be catch. Okay, I'm alright with that. That gives us a little bit of time to uh, set up our uh, the energies on our Pokemon so we can attack. So let's evolve into Golisopod. And um, I'm going to use Level Ball. Probably get another line of Cher Cherubi. Or... Um, I could actually let me use level ball. I mean uh, Pokemon communication and uh, maybe we can get another attacker here because our Tapu Bulu is not going to survive. That's what I'm thinking. So at least we have three lines and I'm going to use exciting stage ability to get three cards. All right. We don't get much, but we do get an extra energy. Um, probably just put it on Golisopod. And I'll just attack with pushdown again. That chip damage could uh, be a big difference. Um, we'll just have to see. But yeah, um, our opponent has a really good good setup right now. Um, they have Paragon Z. They have um, a few Cramorant Vs ready to go. And also a double V. Uh, although all of our Pokemon are pretty weak, so... Um, they can knock out our Pokemon easily for sure. Uh, so it's just a matter of speed. Although they all they are only getting one prize uh, for each knockout. Uh, the only one that they can get two prize for is uh, Cricket Tune V. Um, so I think the key here is really speed and just keep hitting as much as we can. 
and hopefully we can knock out a lot of these uh, Cramorant VMAX. Here's another Cramorant VMAX. And they're using powerful energy, which uh, stacks up a lot of damage too. Oof, okay. 200 damage, man. Crazy good. All right, so let's put Golisopod in the active. I'm just going to use Professor's Research to get rid of all those things. Um, we get another Cher Cheruby, Cherumline. Um, I'm going to use Ordinary Rod and get these two attackers. Again, we can use... Um, we can use Tapu Bulu and also Snorlax to attack. So we have enough energy on our hand with that uh, last Professor's Research. I'm just going to put three energies on Tapu Bulu, put a Cherubi here, and I'm going to, for safe safety, I'm just going to put an energy on Cricket, uh, Cricket Toon V. And we have Energy Recycler. We have three in our discard pile, but... I'm just going to use this attack for 290 damage. Unbelievable. So that was enough to knock out their Cramorant VMAX. So that pushdown actually helped a lot uh, to secure that knockout during our turn here. Uh, but their Cramorant VMAX is all set to go up. They probably have a lot of energies in their hand. And they can just knock out our Golisopod. But we have Tapu Bulu again. Um, they are giving up more prize cards than we are. So even if they knock out our Golisopod, uh, we're just going to keep bringing in our... We have another Golisopod line here. We just need to get evolution. And we have Tapu Bulu ready to attack. So um, it's looking good for us. If they do end up retreating their Cremorant VMAX or something... Um, we just got to find a uh, boss's order to get it back into the active and knock it out. Yeah, the Vitality Band really helps out. Without it, um, we'll only be hitting for 280 and we wouldn't have been able to knock out the Cramorant VMAX our last turn. So unfortunately, that was our last uh, Vitality Band. So we're just gonna we're just gonna uh, go with what we have here. And we have five, so we can use uh, Energy Recycler now and get all these back to our deck. And I'm just gonna use Level Ball to get. Uh, th just to thin out our deck here, and I can use um, Pokemon Communication actually. And I'll just use Sonya probably to get. Should I get another attacker or more energies? I think more energy is more uh, important here. And we can use uh, Pokemon Communication to get a Golisopod for our next turn. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, we can't evolve it right now. But we can um, energize it uh, this turn. So either way, uh, we have two attackers set to go. If they don't knock out our Tapu Bulu, we'll just attack with it again if we can. I'm just going to switch this guy up so we can get two. Uh, we can draw two cards. Retreat back onto Tapu Bulu. And um, we, can, we can use Ordinary Rod to get um, Golisopod back. That's what we can do. Um, I think I'll just get those two. That's fine. Um, Nature's Judgment, 160. Yeah. So we're going to discard our energy so that we can do 160 damage. If we don't discard, you're only going to be doing 80 damage. So uh, since we're dealing with the VMAX here, uh, discarding all of our energy should be fine and we have energy recycler anyways so we're not too worried about uh, getting rid of our energy so there's a few options you can actually do um, the glimwood tangle um, is uh, 
I think I'm just gonna take that out. Uh, what we need is something to get energies from our deck. So Viridian Forest would be, I think, better. Uh, energy Recycler is good, but I think um, you can also swap that and use uh, Energy Retrieval so that the energy goes straight back to your hand. Although you only get two, but at least it's ready for you to use uh, with Cherim. So I, either way, I think Energy Recycler or Energy Retrieval would do fine in this deck. But Glimbo Tangle, I don't think it's... It's good with Snorlax so that you can stall with its paralysis, but um, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, <laughs> that's too bad. They had a bad flip on uh, bad coin flips on their turn. We're gonna use that to our advantage, and we're just gonna be able to attack with Tapu Bulu again. So we got enough energy to energize it. Hit for another 160 damage on this uh, new Cramorant VMAX. Uh, before we use Professor's Research, I'm gonna... Ooh, more energies. Look at that. Uh, we don't have any more attackers, so I'll just attach one energy on Cricket Tune. We can use that as an attacker as well. Tapu Bulu and three more energies. Look at that. We have a great lineup of attackers on our next turn. Uh, on this turn and even on the turn after our opponent. And they just concede. All right, so great offensive, um, great offensive build this uh, Tapu Bulu. Good game. All right, so we win the coin flip again. We're gonna go first, and we got Snorlax uh, right away. Really good for me. And we got Cheruby to go into the bench. Evolution Incense to evolve it. We just need an attacker and a lot of energies. So. Uh, not, sh not much to go by here. Let's just thin out our deck. Um, let's get a Cherim. And I can actually just use Pokemon Communication here to get what we really need. Um, Cricket Toon V. Yeah, I'm going to get Cricket Toon V. Um, and I'm just going to Gormandize. Wait, hold on. Uh, let's just put... Vitality Band on Snorlax. I'm planning to attack with it anyways. And we're just going to Gorman Dice. We do get a Tapu Bulu and Viridian Forest. So I went ahead and replaced Glimwood Tangled with Viridian Forest. Um, testing out this deck build, I actually wanted to use Carnivine, the Rapid Strike Carnivine. But um, it's proven to be a really terrible card, so I just uh, didn't want to use it anymore. I just got tired of the coin flip aspect of it. And it just it's just there to basically get knocked out and your opponent gets free prizes for it. So um, I just went ahead and stuck with Tapu Bulu and this, this. And I haven't featured it yet, so this turned out to be a really great deck. So with the Evo Incense, we get a Cherim. And I think I'm going to start energizing Tapu Bulu and Snorlax at the same time. Let's just use Exciting Stage. Maybe we'll get more energies. Um, we get Sonya. Um, we'll put Air Balloon on Krikatoon V. I'm just going to use Sonya to get two more cards. And then what I could do here is just energize... Snorlax and we'll just attack they don't have any attacker anyway so we should survive so it's I consider this as a free prize for us so I'll, I'll take advantage of it and if they don't have any more Pokemon we can just knock out this Zigzagoon and, and just win this game but they have Pierce so it's guaranteed that they're gonna have another one all right so this is actually an Eternatus VMAX deck we're up against So we'll see how this goes. Again, speed, I think, is going to be the key to this um, this matchup. Okay. Going to switch into Eternatus. Deal 30 damage to Snorlax. But now they don't have any cards on their hand, so... Um, we could use that to our advantage. Let's use Exciting Stage. We can draw one. Ooh, another energy. So Tapu Bulu is all set to go. 
can deal 160 damage. We can use Bruno. Get four cards. All right, we get another Tapu Bulu. We can use Cherim again, or Cherim line. You can even use level ball to uh, get a Cherim to evolve Cheruby. I'm just gonna use um, Body Slam here. Sweet, we get heads, paralyzes their Eternity V. If they can't evolve here, we get a free turn, look at that. Um, can use level ball, get a Cherim. And evolve that. So we have energy retrieval. I did switch out energy recycler. Um, I just wasn't getting enough um, energies when I need it because it does shuffle back to the deck from the discard pile. So I think energy retrieval is a lot better. So I'm gonna switch out in Tapu Bulu and I'm just gonna knock out this uh, Eternatus V, hitting it for 160. Because with Snorlax, it's only hitting for 100, and it's not going to knock out uh, their Eternatus. And their next turn could just um, give them the, the, the momentum. So I think knocking it out uh, is, is good. There's their Eternatus VMAX, but they don't have any attacker. Uh, they can't attack still, and they're just going to concede. So I'll take that as a win. All right, so our opponent wins the coin flip. They're deciding who goes first. We go first. All right, I'll take it. And uh, we got Cheruby and Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu will go into the active and Cheruby into the bench. And we got a level ball so we can evolve into Cherum. We have two energies and a professor's research to find us more energies. And we are up against a Waylord V, which is very tanky. Um, it's gonna be <laughs> It's going to be tough to knock this one out. Although for 280, um, I mean we can two hit KO with uh, Tapu Bulu. But on both attacks we'll have to discard energies so that could make it a little bit difficult having to find energies or putting energies back into play. So energy recycler again, I think it's really good, but it goes back to your deck, but finding it, drawing it out of your deck is the next, it's basically a two step um, recycling of energies. But um, the energy retrieval, although you only get two, it goes straight to your hand, which you can use right away on your turn. So even if you don't have any more uh, drawing, uh, uh, you don't have any more ability or uh, you don't have any more means to draw cards from your deck to get more energies. I think energy retrieval is a lot It's more optimal than energy retrieval. Although Both are really good. You know, it's it's really up to How you think you can manage to get those energies back to your hand So they're gonna use their attack so that they can get four water energies Onto their Waylord V. It can tank attacks anyway, so it doesn't really care if uh, it just sits there in the active. And their Glimwood Tangle is all set to go. And they have Cape of Toughness adding 50 more, so they have 300 HP. I'm just going to use Professor's Research. Uh, let's put Cricketune V and let's just uh, get a Cherim here. Then, uh, then our thin down our deck and if they knock out one of our charm we have a secondary one so I'm gonna put vitality band on Tapu Bulu add an extra damage to it and I'm gonna go ahead and just energize it and I'm just gonna remove that exciting stage you got two cards all right cool we got Wimpod put vitality band on it nature's judgment or should we just push down? I think we can... I'll, I'll just do Nature's Judgment. Because we. Get, um, I was thinking if we push down, um, their other two Pokemon doesn't have energies on it. Although, they can just put an energy on the Dene and just retreat back with it. But if they didn't have any more Pokemon, um, putting the other Waylord V in the active is, would have been uh, better for us. 
Dude, they get three heads on the first try. Let's give them a smiley face. I am shocked with their coin flips. <laughs> well, well then, um, I have a switch. I'll just put uh, Cricket Tune in the active. We got another Tapu Bulu. And, um, hmm. There's no way for us to attack. We have only one way. Uh, we can only draw one card with the exciting stage ability. But that's not enough to get us attacking. I'll just put an energy on Tapu Bulu. I can. I'll just have to use push down here. 20 damage. Let's see what they decide to do. I, again, they can... Alright, that's good. So, Willard V has uh, 4 retreat costs. So, unless they have a switch, it can't attack right now. I think the best thing they would they should have done was uh, just retreat back into the Dene. Attach an energy and retreat back. And knock out our Tapu Bulu. But regardless, they're only taking one prize card. Which is okay. I'm um, just gonna use Bird Keeper here. You can always just retreat with um, Cherum. Um, I'll use Energy Retrieval to get two energies. Spring Bloom. We get enough energy to attack with Tapu Bulu. And. I can, yeah. I w I was thinking of attaching it to Crazy Tune V, but I think I'll just attach it to Tapu Bulu. Um, Wimpod would be good, and I'll just use Exciting Stage. We can draw two cards. All right. Um, Spring Bloom to our Wimpod. Retreat into Tapu Bulu. Attack with Nature's Judgment. Yes, we'll discard that so we can hit 460. So we can knock this guy out in our next turn. Um, even if they put Cape of Toughness, um, if we are add it all together, we're doing 320. Da oh my gosh. <laughs> Get three heads in a row. Give him a smiley face again. Unbelievable. So I'm just going to promote Cherum. We can always retreat back with it. And we're going to evolve into Golisopod. Although we're only hitting for, what, 130. Let's uh, use Exciting Stage. Ooh, we get Energy Retrieval. So I think we can attack with Tapu Bulu. I think it's, uh, it's better if we attack with Tapu Bulu. Let's just attach an energy there. We can use Bruno anyways. Get us seven cards from our deck. Which gives us more energies. And that should be good. Uh, we can put Snorlax here. Um, use Level Ball. Can get Cherum out of there. Thin out our deck. Uh, retreat to... I'll just use Golisopod. 180. Yeah, they have the Denny GX, but uh, so that's actually uh, 50 times 3 plus 30. So it works out. It actually worked out. Yeah, so it's not just the Vs. Yeah, you have to count the GX as well. So yeah, Golisopod is actually really good against um, tougher opponents. If you just stick with Tapu Bulu, uh, it's a lot tougher because you have to attack. A lot of times you're discarding a lot of cards at the same time. So having the Lysopod around, you know, for a one prize or deck is actually really good. Keldeo. Keldeo is actually weak against grass, so. Ooh. Whoa, nice. They weren't able to... <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> yeah, they have too many heads uh, already. So, 
Um, I'm just gonna Spring Bloom here. We're gonna keep going with this. Um, the only attacker we have left is Snorlax to energize and we'll put the last energy that we have on hand with um, Cricket Tune. I'm just gonna put this Keldea because it's weak against grass and knock it out. And we get two prizes for that. And we should be good to go. So this Whale Lord can knock out our... Okay, well, there you go. Good game. All right, so we win the coin flip. We're going to go first here. We got two Snorlax. Uh, let's just put one in the active for now. And no, I, I think uh, we'll save that for the Pokemon communication. So Cherubi and also Tapu Bulu can go in the bench. We got two energies. Let's energize Snorlax. We can attack with it. Maybe for some chip damage. Um, let's actually use the Pokemon communication here and get a Wimpod for our Golisopod line. And I'm just going to Gormandize. So we're up against a single strike Urshifu V Max, which um, which could be difficult, but it is it is doable. We can we can definitely win in this game, uh, depending on how fast we get those energies. We are only again the price exchange is a little bit uneven because they're taking one prize while we're taking a lot more than that at a time. So we could have a chance here and now that I'm thinking about it, when they use uh, Hound Doom to energize their uh, Single Strike Urshifu V Max or Single Strike Urshifu V, they're actually putting damage counters to it which actually helps us to uh, knock it out a lot quicker. Now um, when we're up against uh, Rapid Strike could be a little bit different because we'll need new uh, to to use to protect our bench so let's just uh, get a charm with the lava ball so now we can energize all of our Pokemon in play and um, let's see let's just energize Snorlax I can use let's just use evolution incense to get a Golisopod so we'll all set Let's see, I can use uh, Professor's Research or Sonya, I'm thinking. I think I'm just going to use Sonya to get more energies or I could get, yeah, I think I'll just do that. Uh, we'll be aggressive this turn. We'll put an energy on Snorlax and an energy on, um, I'll just put it on Golisopod for now. Body Slam for 100 damage. Ooh, and we get heads, yes. So unless they have something to evolve it, um, that will afford us another turn. But they have a Pokemon communication, so they can uh, evolve it, remove that paralysis, and knock out our Snorlax because it's weak against fighting. So in our next turn, we're probably going to have to use Professor's Research to get more energies. And we'll, we'll counterattack to the best of our abilities. You know, um, with Single Strike Urshifu VMAX, it's not bad. It's actually really strong. But what it doesn't have is speed, because it requires a lot of energies. Houndoom is there, but then it, it adds damage counter, so survivability against other VMAX becomes questionable. Um, let's just uh, do this first. We get another charm. They they knocked out our charm, so we need another one. We need it for um, quick energizing for our Pokemon. Let's just get a Cricket Tune. Energize. Tapu Bulu, I'm guessing, would be a good um, place to start. Get another energy. I'll save energy retrieval. I'm just gonna body slam. Hopefully they get paralyzed here. Sweet Snorlax. I think I'm gonna make a deck just just out of Snorlax. We'll make a deck out of Snorlax and just just 
Cherim and Snorlax. <laughs> Just try to see how much, uh, how many games we can win. I might just have to do that because Snorlax is pretty cool on its own. Maybe uh, add powerful energies and um, keep attacking with it. Hmm, that's an idea. Ooh, they have a switch though. Okay. So I'm hoping to get a charm at some point. They're gonna knock out Snorlax. Has 120 HP left. Ooh, but they're gonna boss Golisopod. But that's okay. That's all right. Snorlax is gonna continue, continue its its, its quest. But uh, for now, we can always just retreat and put. Uh, well, there's a switch. It's gonna say I can put an energy on Cricketune and retreat. But. I'll just put it on top of Bulu instead, and I'm gonna use Exciting Stage for one. Um, we get Evo Incense, but we don't have a Cherim anymore. Hmm. All right. So two of them are prized. Wow. Okay. So let's just switch out Body Slam for the last time. Yeah, for the last time. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't expecting much on the coin flip that time. We got good the first two two times we attacked, but not this time. But at least at least this Urshifu V Max is just needs one more hit. Furious anger for 700 damage. My goodness, it just needs 10 more HP. You know what? We'll put Cherubi in the active. We're gonna knock this guy out. We got another Cherubi anyways. Why not? Exciting stage for one draw. Ooh, we got a Bruno. That's really good. We got seven cards. Um, let's see what we got here. Leafage for the knockout. <laughs> Hold on, let's just use level ball first. Get a Wimpod. You got a Golisopod, so that way we'll have an extra attacker. Put that air balloon and Leafish for the knockout. This is insane. Cheruby actually knocked out a VMAX. <laughs> How many times do you see that in every game, guys? That is going to be the highlight of this whole entire video. Cheruby knocks out single strike Urshifu VMAX with one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. That was pretty cool. Good job, Cheruby. Um, I, I will put, I'll make Cheruby the MVP of this game. Um, against uh, Urshifu V Max. Cheruby is the MVP. But no, uh, our other Pokemon did really good, you know. Snorlax is also like equally MVP because uh, did really well in the coin flips and then paralysis and doing a lot of 100 damage to that uh, Urshifu VMAX. But we're not out of the woods yet. Um, we still have three prizes to go and we are up against this Tyranitar V, which is pretty tanky as well. Although, it is weak against grass, so let's see how this goes. Okay. Ooh, okay. So that does not knock out our Tapu Bulu, which is... Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. They didn't have enough energy to, to knock it out. So, uh, we get two prizes off of this uh, Tyranitar V because it's weak against grass. Um, I think I'm just going to attack, yeah. Nature's Judgment, 320. Nice. Tapu Bulu, man. Tapu Bulu. Getting two prizes. We get Cherim finally and three energies to go with that. 
and we also have energy retrieval and that's what I'm talking about with energy retrieval compared to um, energy recycler energy recycler can get you more energies but it goes back to your deck which can be difficult to get out of your deck um, you know in your next few turns so I think um, maybe mix them if you have energy retrieval and energy recycler maybe but for now I actually like having energy retrieval uh, more energy retrievals than having um, energy recycler so probably in my final build it will just be energy retrieval but it's up to you you can always just change, uh, swap it out if whatever you're, you you feel like is more optimal um, I also swapped out um, bird keeper bird keeper just wasn't as optimal because you're switching and then at the same time yeah you draw three cards it's a lot better if I Bruno is really good so I added another Bruno in exchange for uh, bird keeper and more Marnies and professors research so having that draw power is actually a lot better than uh, the switch effect wasn't as useful with this uh, with with this build so I I actually took out bird keeper uh, entirely from from this build it was working out on some matches but not all the time so I think consistency is a lot more important so they got um, okay there goes the uh, single strike energy so they got one more left in the deck and they're probably gonna Um, you know what? With Golisopod, yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20. We, we're going to be hitting for 230 damage. But with those damage counters on Urshifu. Ooh. You know what? That's game. Golisopod in the active. Cherim evolves. Put two energies on Golisopod. And that's it. They have so many Crobats. That's 200 damage right there. Knocking out this Urshifu V for the win. Against Urshifu V Max, guys. Tapu Bulu. Good game. Alright, so our opponent's choosing who goes first, and they're gonna go first. Um, uh, let's see, we got Wimpod, I think I'll just put that in the active Because the Cherim line I think is more important to survive If they are able to knock out our Pokemon in the active I think the one that should survive should be Cherubi first So we're up against a Zamazenta V right now uh, This is not going to be a good matchup for us because um, they have resistance to grass, which is not good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put an energy non-run. Look at that. Zero damage. Uh, there, I don't think there's any way that they can um, energize the Zamazenta just yet. So I don't think they can uh, knock out Cherubi. And unfortunately, we have two boss orders. So there, we don't have any drawing power right now, which is not good at all. So not only are we hitting nothing, but we also don't have any supporter or any drawing engine to get us more cards in our hand. This is not this is not a really <laughs> this is not a good start for us. Uh, but they're getting everything they need. Look at that. Um, yeah, you're probably noticing that a lot of my some of my um, gameplays have different cards. Um, I do um, record these matches as I go along. So I test it out. I test out the deck and as I, I do it, um, I just continue recording. And, and the exciting matches that I have is what I'll keep. And you'll see how, um, how it evolves. And that's, I just go with whatever I have you know, at the end of the day. Um, we're able to finally evolve into 
go Lysopod, and we get two energies. Um, they have... We're hitting for 230, but... I'm not sure it's going to be enough to knock out this Zamazenta, but we have boss's order, so I think I'm just going to knock out this Crobat V using boss's order. At least we'll get two prizes, and we get a Bruno. So they're probably going to knock out this Golisopod. Yeah, 130. That's enough for Zamazenta V to knock out. But at least we'll get seven cards in exchange. And we, we can um, we can easily set up Tapu Bulu because it's a basic Pokemon. We just put it in the bench, energize it, and start attacking. Although it doesn't hit for much, but at least you know we're, we're dealing damage to our opponent. But yeah, um, you'll notice that in some of my videos, um, you you'll see that you'll see how I adapt um, my deck over time. So in in some of my gameplays, not all of them, but some of them you'll see like my preliminary builds. You know, I'll start off with a certain type of build with certain types of cards, but then, you know, as we go along with the the other gameplays, um, I do change up or swap out some of the some of the cards, which I think would be more optimal. Um, but our opponent doesn't knock out any of our Pokemon. So, uh, you know what? I'll take it. Thank you for your generosity, I guess. But now, let's spring bloom uh, these two energies onto Tapu Bulu. And I'm just going to retreat back into Snorlax. Um, and I'm just going to Gormandize. They can knock out Snorlax in their next turn. But, you know, I think... Uh, setup for us is a little bit more important as, as long as we have You know an exceptional line of attackers because again, we're not knocking out our opponent's Pokemon with one hit um, We're losing one price at a time But once we run out of attackers, that's gonna be the problem because they're just gonna you know they're just gonna destroy all of our weak Pokemon because they they can't tank any any attack. There it is, Brave Blade. And that's gonna knock out our Snorlax. Yep, Zashin V, man, one of the best cards in the game right now. Hits hard, draws cards, unbelievable. Uh, and with that Rusted Sword, there's nothing that's going to survive that attack. But at least we got a leeway. It's not going to be able to attack. If they have to, if they want to attack next turn, they'll have to retreat. If they don't have a switch, they'll have to discard energy. Meantime, we can use Bruno. That'll get us seven cards because one of our Pokemon just was just knocked out. Uh, put Snorlax in the uh, in the bench. We can use utilize its paralysis um, if we need to. Um, we can set up a Wimpod also. That that could be a strong attacker. So I think I'll just do that. And um, let's see. Um, Uh, the Zashin V can't attack on their next turn. So I'm risking it by putting Tapu Bulu in the active to attack for now. I'm going to use Viridian Force so we can get another energy. We still have six on in the deck, so that's good. And I think I'll just put one on Tapu Bulu. And I'm just going to use Nature's Judgment. Pushdown's not going to do any damage. So with Resistance, it's only dealing 130. So it has uh, 30 Resistance. So one more hit from a Tapu Bulu, uh, we can knock out this Zashan V. We have uh, enough energy on Tapu Bulu. 
Uh, okay, they're gonna hard retreat. They don't have a switch. I don't think that was a good idea, but um, I'll take it. Okay, <laughs> they have a metal saucer, right? Right. Of course, of course, you have to have a metal saucer. Okay, so there goes our first Tapu Bulu. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna put Cherim in the active, or we could just put Tapu Bulu in the active. We can hit uh, Zamazenta V for chip damage. No, I'll just put Cherim in the active. Um, we can decide that as we go along. Um, let's use Ordinary Rod. We can recover two energies and Tapu Bulu. Um, yeah, I'll just put Tapu Bulu. And two energies back to the deck. Um, we can use Marnie to disrupt our opponent's hand. And we can use Vitality Band on Golisopod. And then I'm gonna Marnie. Okay. Uh, we get a Mew. It's not really needed. Got the last energy on top of Bulu so we can attack. Gonna go ahead and use Pokemon Communication to get Golisopod to evolve our other one. And we have energy retrieval to get two energies to power it up on our next turn if we need to. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and use Golisopod hard times for 210 damage. Uh, even with that vitality band, we're just 20 HP short of knocking out the Zamazenta V, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay, we have another Golisopod to, uh, to attack with. So we're gonna be good. So assault tackle, all right. Okay, so we lose another Pokemon, but we still have two attackers. We have uh, our opponent has two uh, damaged Pokemon, so we just need to take care of this one. We don't need to discard the energy. Even with the resistance, it was enough. 80 damage, minus 30. 50 damage was enough to knock it out. So, uh, at least with that, they're really gonna focus on uh, hitting Tapu Bulu to knock it out. Otherwise, we will knock out its uh, our opponent's Sash and V. So we need two more prizes. We can actually win this, unbelievable, even with the resistance and everything. Crazy build, man. Tapu Bulu and Golisopod makes a good team. Yeah, I highly recommend I highly recommend this build. Very strong build. Tapu Bulu and Golisopod. So we're gonna put uh yeah, that's it. We should... We got this game. Uh, we just need to get energy for our Golisopod. So we have one all, all, all ready to go from on our hand. But let's just make sure we got everything we need here. I'll just get another Tapu Bulu. And... Um, let's see. I can use Sonya to get two energies and even use Viridian Forest to get rid of the Balloon. We still have eight energies in our deck, so that's insane. So having a lot of energies is really good for this uh, this this build, so. I'm gonna Spring Bloom uh, two energies on Golisopod and put one on Tapu Bulu, retreat into Golisopod and hard time slash. That's it. 200 damage for the win. That will give us our last two prizes. Can't believe we won that. So good game to our opponent. Bloom Tapu Bulu Bloom. If you've ever spent time in a garden, you know small sprouts can bloom into huge things. In this case, Cherim's Spring Bloom ability offers a bounty of grass energy to your Pokemon. 
The awesome supportive role of Cherum matches perfectly with Tapu Bulu's attack and with Golisopod for our backup for tougher matchups. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.